Welcome to the channel. Uh, today we're making a simple dish. It is called in Spanish carne mechada, which is translated pool beef. We have simple ingredients, onion, carrots, garlic, celery, water, salt, and pepper. And we're gonna do it on the Instapot to accelerate the process. I have uh, roughly around two and a half pounds of chopped beef. I cleaned this, took the fat and the silver skin. So I put all the meat there. I add hot water to cover the meat. I'll say maybe a tablespoon of salt. I'm sorry, a teaspoon of salt and a quarter teaspoon of pepper. Usually, fresh grind pepper is always much better. Preserve the flavor, and just much better. One of these sazon with culantro, right? But anything with a sazon could be the other one too, the other brand Goya, whatever. And then I have like about three small carrots, a whole onion, this is what they call a sacrificial veggies because you just want the flavor. You're creating kind of a um, beef, um, boy, I'm running out of words. The two garlics, you can add a little bit more water at this point. And the word that I was looking is beef broth. You're creating your own beef broth because you're gonna use it later on for the meat. And then at this point you close this bad boy in about uh, 70 minutes, we should have this beautiful thing out of there. And then you can add this finished product to anything, but we're planning to do arepas. These are the ingredients for the second step. After the meat comes out of the Instapot, we're gonna pull the meat by the grain of the meat, and then we're gonna put it aside, and then we're gonna make a sofrito, and then we're gonna add the meat to the sofrito. And basically the sofrito usually is with a red and a green one, but I don't have a green one, it doesn't matter. This is cilantro, garlic, onion. We're gonna add a little bit of the sauce. I know that this one, depending if the flavor is too mild, salt and pepper. Cut it really, really fine, because you don't want that. You want it as small as you can. Pour in some olive oil, because we're gonna do the, make the sofrito. Nice hot pan there. Goes the onion. The garlic is almost at the end, because you don't want to burn it. Put a little bit of salt. Maybe a quarter teaspoon of salt. A little bit of uh, black pepper, too. Okay. All right. Some black pepper. <laughs> That's just not working. All right, so black pepper now, finally, okay. Uh, uh. Smells delicioso. Now put a little hole in there. Gonna throw our garlic. Yeah, it was Put the garlic last. You don't want to burn it. We're gonna shut this off. There's still other ingredients that we're gonna add, but we're gonna add it when we got the meat ready to go. All right, chin chin for the next step is gonna be arepitas. Filled with carne mechada. So we're gonna open this and reveal the beautiful meat inside there. Whoa, look at that. Wow, that looks good. And that's what I was mentioning is the sacrificial veggies there. But you have beautiful stock in here, beautiful beef stock. You see, we took all the fat. There's very little floating in there. And the meat, oh, beautiful. Beautiful 
see the grain there? We're gonna pull it apart. I say like that, like strength. That's mm, my god, this is good. And this bra, you don't throw it away. You use it for rice. See arepa with this thing is like woo 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 baby. It cooked beautiful. It's not overcooked, it's tender, beautiful flavor. And we're gonna transfer that to that side. In a second, we're gonna take a break because we're gonna to have to make the arepas now. Are we gonna put cheese on those? Parmigiano Reggiano. I have two and a quarter cup of whole milk and two and a quarter cup of water. I warm this whole thing up and I have two tablespoons of butter melted in there and I have two teaspoons of salt too. That's the liquids. Now I have four cups of harina pan which I'm gonna do I usually do it this way I add my solid to my liquid and then on, on the side I'm gonna show you in a second what do we have there. And this is just to avoid you know getting clumps. At this point, you know, you're filling the, the dough. If it needs anything, water or more, harina pan, then we, we got it the way we want it. No dry, no liquid. It's good to make the shape. I'm gonna use my hand. Try not to use any rings. You can add the cheese now if you wanted to. I have two types of cheese. I got uh, Asiago and I have Parmesan. Just, just to give them a little bit of a, you know, flavor to the dough. But I'm gonna do it like right now, a little bit at a time. And then you fold it in there. A little bit more here. You wanna incorporate the cheese the best you can. I think you can use a little bit of a liquid, less than a quarter cup of milk, just to, because I noticed that when I added the cheese, it's kind of a, oh. Yeah, it feels better now to work the dough. It'll rest for five minutes. I'll cover this bad boy right there, just to wet my hands. About 150 gram each one. So let me cover this. This is for later. So now we're gonna make the arepitas. Put a little bit of oil here and stick them in there, fold there. Okay, you can make this uh, thin as thick as you want, but I wouldn't go any thinner than, than this, about half an inch or so. And there you go. Flip it like every five minutes. Now we continue here. I'm heating up the ingredients. And add at least, you know, one cup this liquid, which is the broth. I'm gonna sprinkle, like I said, maybe a teaspoon of this. A little bit of tomato sauce. Maybe one, two, three, maybe four there. Tablespoon of soy sauce, that's about it. Now we incorporate everything together. Maybe we cook for like about maybe 10 minutes or more. But you want this relatively moist. I mean, you don't want it watery, but as a matter of fact, I'm gonna add the rest because it's probably like about eight ounces. This is, is very wet now, but we're gonna let it cook for a little bit, so we're fine. Mm. You can smell the cheese. Mm. Come out really good. Five minute timer. Five minutes, counting down. Right now we're gonna add this. Almost the last few minutes is the cilantro. And then I flatten it down. It's almost done. Just maybe another couple of minutes or so. Yeah. 
is ready. I'm cutting the arepa. That way we can put some butter in there. Some people like with butter. I like it with butter. Do you see the steam on that bad boy? So we're just melting the butter there to give it an extra flavor there. And then, and there you go, that's an arepa. Salud. Let's try the, the product here and see if it's all gonna say it was. I need a minute because this thing is piping up. Mmm, man, it's really good. Really good. Try it. Because this is one of those things that on the bucket list. You can't miss. If you had never had an arepa, this one is a perfect one to start. And it's so noble. You can put anything inside the arepa. But if you can, if you like, you know, meats and beef and stuff like that, this is a good way to start. Easy. It takes a little time, but it's easy. And it's delicious. So, thank you. Remember to like, subscribe, and if you have any questions, let us know. Bye-bye. Oh, this is a lot of pimienta. Kind of a... Oh, I guess so. That's a blooper there. Oh, there you go. You want to smoke? That's... Oof. Arepas. The food of our people. Mm. 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 Johnny Walker, take the hint. <laughs>